Bob Cairns here. On a Saturday, I'm the CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com, the agency for all your digital marketing needs. Um, one of the things I get a lot of requests from clients, and I had the discussion with a colleague the other day, is how is the best way to shrink pictures on a Windows machine? And there's a multitude of ways. I mean, Pixar will do it. Um, Canva will do it. There's other tools like Photoshop, Affinity, they'll all do it. But I'm going to give you a really easy way, and it's a free tool called Paint.net. So to get Paint.net, you go over to the URL, get Paint.net, download and install this product. It's all free, has no spyware, no nothing. They update it regularly. I actually really like it. And then to run it. Let's just go out and find it. I should have brought it up before we did this tutorial, but get paint.net. Here it is here. Just click on it and let's open it. And it does take a minute to open, so it should go ahead and open as it's opening. And the reason I like this tool, frankly, is it's easy to install and to to deal with for a novice user. And I actually prefer to fire it up to Photoshop or Affinity for quick stuff on my end because it just saves time. So the tool's opening up. It will support layered files, which is really cool. So let's go out and get an image. Let's just go File, Open. Let's see what I have on my desktop that we can play with. Um, now we'll grab my image that I use a lot. And the image is fairly big. Okay. And f this is an image, if you follow me for a long time, you've probably seen on my website or other things. So really cool how to resize this image and save space because we know on the web we don't want to be using pictures more than 100K. Anything else slows our website down. So go to Image in the tool. Go to Resize. And you'll notice right away this is a... 84.84 meg, way too big, and this is the height to the width. Now, the cool thing is we can either resize it by percentage, so let me show you. Let's resize this by 45% of the original picture. And say OK. Look what happens. It's committing the changes, and it starts to shrink. So if we want to go back into resize, and you notice the sizing and the width and the height have already dropped proportionally. But if we want to, say, go another, let's make 30% of that, just for argument. And we've done it again. And the canvas isn't in full size. You need to keep that in mind, right? So it's already swapped to 518 by 780. That's really cool. So... If I know I want to, say, shrink it to a size of 200 width, notice how the height adjusts proportionally. Say OK. There you go. That's a little better. So then let's just do a file save as. Uh, let's call this with put test at the end because I don't want to delete the original. Say save. And once we do a save, it tells me what size is. So this is down to 57.8K. This is under our 100K barrier. So we can use this on our website really easily. Show you a little trick, too. That's at 100%. If you want to drop the quality a bit, you can play and drop it and drop it even smaller. But make sure you keep this number under 100K. Say OK. And to show you the pictures under 100K, here's the test one. Let's do a properties on the picture in Windows. And there you go, 57.6K. Really easy, sweet and nothing. I would download uh, paint.net at the website I showed you. Um, I get paint.net. Uh, this site here, let's go back there, get paint.net. I would download this every time they do resizing of pictures. Much easier, free, no mess, no fuss, and you can even do basic editing with it. I'll show you some other tutorials on that in the days to come. As always, Rob Karen, CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. 
If you need anything, please reach out at hello at steindigitalmarketing.com for all your digital marketing needs. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.